This piece has to be welded in today. She's got the cowl that got cut out. So I'm going to be getting as much rust. So I get to do more welding again this week. Hopefully I won't end up in the hospital. Well, I thought you were blind. <laughs> Hello and welcome to Gearhead 704. I'm Matt and today we are back on SSP stuff. I know I've had a lot of videos lately out on different things. The truck, which is hopefully you guys enjoyed that. I don't know, I haven't actually put that video live yet as I'm recording this, but I'm really excited and happy about it. Hope you guys are as well. But today we are back on the SSP. Like I said, we're not giving up on this project at all. We've got a few things we're gonna do. If you caught the last video, we were in the process of repairing all the metal over here on this side. Let me show you guys real quick. Yeah, so this is how far we got last time. Now this piece has to be welded in today. And then guess what? We get to start on the whole thing again <laughs> on this side over here. I'm not gonna show you guys most of this. I'm just gonna get it done. I'll probably show you, hey, this is how it looks from the beginning, which is lots of rust. The process and the procedure, it's gonna be exactly the same as we did on the other side. I mean, for the most part, if it's not, I'll let you guys know, I'll highlight that. But the other thing we are doing today is I have some help here with me at Fox Mustang Restoration, and that is the wife, Tiffany. So she's here. You can see she's got the cow that got cut out that is eventually gonna go over there because our cow was rusty, right? Yes. So what Tiffany's doing is she's gonna prep this today. She's gotta to remove, you know, all the rubber and mm -hmm. basically get it completely where it's ready to be sandblasted, right? Yes. And then she is gonna do some sandblasting. So I'm gonna there you go. do it in the sandblasting cabinet. Yeah, yeah, she's not gonna do it outside like me. That's what she's working on. That's what I'm working on. Gonna be a lot of highlights today, guys. Probably not too much uh, time lapse for a change. I know I've been doing a lot at that, so. Let's go ahead and get on it, see how far we can get done today. I'm hopeful that we can actually get this whole side torn down and potentially even sandblasted. I don't know if we will, and if we don't, I'll be glad because it's really hot outside. <laughs> but anyway, we're gonna go ahead and jump on that. I'll catch you guys up in a second. All right, I know I said I wasn't gonna do any time lapse, and look, I followed it up right with the time lapse, but that was because it was Tiffany, she was doing that, so she's still working on getting the cow prepped to put in the cabinet and sandblast it. What I'm gonna do is I've got our new piece of metal here. Now this, you see there's a bunch of marks on here. What I need to do, like edges right here like this, this is being welded back in the car, and I want it to have a good metal to metal contact. So these bumps and these kind of things, that's no good. I've gotta use a die grinder on this. I've only used one one time ever before, so we're gonna see, and that time I was using it on something that was in the car. This time I've gotta hold this with this hand, use the die grinder in the other hand, so hopefully I won't end up in the hospital. If I do, I'm guessing this video will have a different title. But I'm gonna be very careful. Matt's already showed me kinda of how to do it, walk me through it. So I am gonna show that a little bit in time lapse as well. One, for hospital reasons, but two, to show you guys something that I've only done once before. So let's go ahead and do that, and then we should be able to weld this metal into the car. Hey guys, I want to give you a little update on what I've been working on, which I've been working on prepping the cow. Woo. <laughs> I've been working on prepping the cow to get it in the sandblasting cabinet. So I've been taking off a bunch of little metal tabs and fasteners and gosh darn it, the most frustrating one of these plastic ones. So I've just got this ready to get in the cabinet to sandblast. So that's what I've been doing and you'll catch me sandblasting soon. <laughs> So I'm here at the sandblasting cabinet and I've got the cowgirl in here. It barely fits in here. If you can see, we had to put it in sideways. So I'm going to be getting as much rust as I can from each angle and maybe have to open it up, change the angle to get every single piece of rust off of this. But that's what I'm gonna be doing. So let's get to it. All right guys, I used the die grinder. Again, uh, I probably did maybe 90% of it. Matt cleaned it up, but you can see all the metal spots there where the primer's gone. I did all the grinding. Tip is still over there working on getting the cow ready, but Matt, we're almost ready to mm -hmm. put this in the car, right? Almost. All right, so last time we had some Plasti Dip, and let's explain to them kind of how that yep. works this time. We used it as a template last time, guys. Right, the piece that we cut out of here, I just poured several layers of Plasti Dip over it and then once it was dried, I cut off straight at the edge of the cut. So what that did is that made me a template on where to cut the new piece. 
So you can see, I can just snap that on. Yeah, it fits really well now that we got yeah. everything down. And then what we do is we'll go ahead and line up that edge, hold it down. I'm just gonna take a pick and we're gonna scribe a line right there. And then that should be the line. And when we cut that off, it's gonna fit almost perfectly. And I say almost, because I'm gonna cut it a little bit high. I'm gonna cut a little bit above the line just as a safety measure because it's always easier to remove metal than to add metal that I've cut too much away. Right, yeah, so you're gonna leave a little bit there and then we're gonna cut it, make it fit, grind yep. off a little more if we need to, right? Exactly, so. yeah, there we go. We're gonna go ahead and reprime this so these areas that we ground are gonna be primed again and then once it's primed and trimmed. We're ready to weld it We're on. ready to weld again, more welding. Yep. Okay, so I get to do more welding again this week, which is cool. So we're gonna go ahead, take care of that off camera, get it all primed and uh, set up. We'll catch up with you guys in a second. Okay guys, this is what we were looking at. By the way, I was welding there. I'm still learning. The welding is going really, really slow for me while I'm learning, so we didn't even get this piece entirely on. Now, as you did see, I did use clamps. Matt was helping me out. Clamp this piece in, and this right here has not been welded yet. Take a look at that. That still needs to be welded, but all these spots were welded where you see the grinds at. We got to reprimer that. It's coming together. Unfortunately, didn't even finish getting this piece on today. So it's gonna be a minute, it's gonna be a minute. I did figure out one thing today, guys. So while I was welding, I got a new auto darkening helmet. It's pretty cool, right? You can see through it just fine, and then when you put it down, you start the uh, weld, then it gets dark. Well, guess what? <laughs> there was a layer of film, and I didn't know it, and I couldn't see anything. And what was I doing half the day? Matt will tell you, Matt, what was I doing half the day? You were like, can you see it? And I would say. Well, I thought you were blind. I thought you were <laughs> blind, man. I'm like, how can you not see what I'm pointing at right here? <laughs> Once you pass it over to me, I was yeah, like, what the on. hell's wrong with this thing? What'd you do? <laughs> so Matt put the helmet on and he's like, you he can't see. So yeah, so that's, that's why I'm slow. I'm blaming it on the helmet today, guys. Blame it on the helmet. All right, guys, this is what I was talking about. This was in here on the inside, and I didn't know, but this one was here on the inside. Crazy. But this is a good little update. You can see we're making progress. I'm learning how to weld, and that's just part of it. I do want to show you guys how Tiffany made out with the cow grill. So let's take a look at that. Ta-da, there you go. So you did this whole side, yeah. and it was tough because you were doing it in the cabinet. Right, it was in the cabinet. I couldn't move it. It would barely fit in the cabinet. So yeah, it was in order tight to fit. Get, yeah, tight, tight fit. So in order to get some of these places, I couldn't reach everything. Yeah, but um, really, considering all the rust that was on there, this yeah. whole backside looks great, I think. Yeah. <laughs> you did a really good job. So you turn it around, you started on the front, and the front was being very right. it difficult. It was being difficult. I don't know. This paint was not wanting to get blasted Yeah, off. original Ford paint here, guys, and giving a lot of trouble. You can see, though, this is where it cleaned up. I was up. getting, yeah. More to do. More to do. You did sand it. You Part sanded the cowgirl. Probably 40% done, maybe. Yeah. Okay. I wouldn't even say halfway done. No. So, but the cool thing is there is metal here, unlike my cowgirl. So, That's the, the one that came out. That's the important thing. Yeah. That's why we're doing all this. Yeah, so that looks good. Good job, babe. You're awesome, as ah. always. Thank you. <laughs> she saved me a ton of time, y'all. So that I do have that going for me. Anyway, project very slow today. Very slow. Said I did a lot of the welding. In fact, I didn't even show you guys a ton of that. I had a lot less time lapse than I normally do. So if you thought I had a lot in this one, oh boy. <laughs> But it's okay, I made progress. In the meantime, I'm covered in all kinds of stuff and I'll go ahead and wrap this one up. So if you did enjoy the video, please hit the like button. That helps me out a whole lot. If you're stopping in for the first time and you wanna see the SSP finished, if you wanna see this car finished, please subscribe because I do upload two times a week, every Sunday and Wednesday, so you can count on consistent content. And we'll see you next time here on Gearhead 704.
pull it out, maneuver it around, but I'm going to just have a lot of noise in the background. Hello and welcome to Gearhead 704. I'm Matt and I'm, what, stopping. Let me, right behind her head is a package of paper. I am Cornholio. I need TP for my bunghole. I am Cornholio. I need TP for my bunghole. <laughs> Y'all know what that is. <sighs> Bloopers.